Hello and welcome again to the Death Row and Executions channel. I'm Paco Rivera. In the year 1976, 46 years ago, Virgil Presnell was sentenced to death for the murder of an eight-year-old girl named Lori Ann Smith. Without getting into all the details regarding appeals, over the years, Presnell's death sentence was overturned. But in 1999, a new sentencing trial was held, a court trial to determine his sentence again. And the jury recommended death again. Even before the murder of Laurie Ann Smith, Presnell had apparently already been planning to carry out his sick, sadistic fantasies. On April 23, 1976, Presnell, who was 22 years old at the time, tried to kidnap a 10-year-old girl in Clayton County, Georgia, an area just outside of Atlanta, as the girl was walking home from school along a wooded trail. Presnell grabbed a hold of the girl and threatened her with a knife. However, the 10-year-old girl ignored the knife. She ferociously fought off her attacker, broke free, and escaped. Unfortunately, Presnell was not captured and just 10 days later, on May 3rd, he had made his way to Cobb County in Georgia, also near Atlanta, but in the opposite direction. Once there, he began scouting the area near Russell Elementary School in the town of Smyrna. He saw a 10-year-old girl walking alone after school, likely headed home. On the following day, May 4th, he returned to that area and waited as school classes ended. He came prepared with a rug and a jar of lubricant. He saw the girl again, only this time she was accompanied by eight-year-old Laurie Ann Smith. He grabbed a hold of both girls and told them he had a gun and will kill them if they don't cooperate. He then put tape over the girls' mouths and placed them in his blue Plymouth duster. While Presnell was driving his car, he removed the tape from the 10-year-old girl's mouth and forced her to perform an oral act on him. He also inserted a finger into her genitalia. Presnell arrived at a secluded area in the woods near Nickajack Creek and removed the girls from the car. He laid his rug on the ground and forced both girls to remove their clothes. He had the 10-year-old girl lay on the rug and he raped her as eight-year-old Laurie Ann Smith was forced to watch. The older girl would later report that she had bled from the rape. Berger Presnell then said that he was going to take Laurie Ann Smith back to his car and told the older girl to wait for him. On the way back to the car, Laurie Ann tried to run away, but Presnell chased after her and caught her. It's not clear how exactly they ended up in a shallow creek, but Presnell held Lori Ann's head underwater until she drowned to death. A medical examiner would later testify in court that there was water, sand, and plant matter in her lungs and stomach, and that it would have taken several minutes for her to die. Presnell returned to the older girl and forced her to perform an oral act on him again. This after he just killed her friend. He then locked her in the trunk of his car and drove away. While driving, however, his car got a flat tire. He dropped the girl off in a wooded area and told her that he would be back for her to wait for him. Presnell then drove with the flat to his apartment complex where he lived with his mother a short distance away to repair the tire in the parking lot. The 10-year-old girl heard sounds coming from a gas station, and she quickly made her way there to report what had happened. 
Police were notified, and soon after, an officer in a patrol vehicle observed Virgil Prisnell changing a flat tire from his blue Plymouth duster that police were now looking for, along with a description of the man that the girl had told them about. Presnell at first tried to deny everything, but later confessed and led police to the body of Lori Ann Smith. During a search of Presnell's bedroom, authorities found child pornography depicting young girls. Five months later, in October of 1976, Virgil Presnell was tried, convicted, and sentenced to death. The case was tried by Cobb County District Attorney George Buddy Darden. In a recent report, Darden has stated, if there was ever a case that cried out for the death penalty, this was it. Virgil Presnell Jr. is now 67 years old. He is scheduled to be executed on May 17th at 7 p.m. Eastern Time at the Georgia Diagnostic and Classification Prison in Jackson, Georgia, after having been on and off death row for the past 46 years years. In the 1999 resentencing trial, the 10-year-old girl who survived testified once again in court. She was now 33 years old at the time. Can you imagine the sheer terror and horror that those two little girls had experienced on that day? If you would like to see more of these death row stories, please subscribe so that you are alerted when the next one comes out. I'm Paco Rivera. Bye for now.